It's a new day, and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive with you. You're making all things brand new. So crazy to believe that nothing's ever gonna come between all the love that you have for me. It's a new day, and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive with you. Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> He had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So oh, come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, I'll go. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. 
Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him? But some said, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus. But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. Wow, 1991. Hey guys, we're still looking at vintage footage of the very first Mad Skill series. Mad Science Skill! And we... We're looking at them on these old tapes, and we're gonna go right now. We've uploaded all of these tapes to our YouTube channel, so let's go right now and check out Mad Science Skills, the very first one. Pastor Steve. Ha! This is awesome! I'm so excited! Yay, science! Yeah, yeah, Hi guys, welcome back to Mad Science Skills with Pastor Steve, where I, Pastor Steve, I'm gonna teach you some mad science skills. Thank you! You're welcome. And guys, when I'm done with you, you are going to have so many mad science skills, you won't even know what to do with all of them, okay? Today, we are gonna make more science happen, and I'm gonna show you how to make something come to life. <laughs> 
Okay, not really, but sort of. Today we're talking about new life. Now when I think of new life in the Bible, I think of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. That was so awesome. Do you know anyone that can do that? No way. No, because only Jesus can, right? Anyways, in light of that miracle, I wanted to help something else come to life, and I chose these apple seeds. Apple seeds! Because I'm hungry, and I want to make an apple tree come to life with my mad science skill! So I got some water. Water! My seeds. Seeds! My dirt. Dirt! My sun. Sun! This battery. Battery! In case you didn't know, apple trees take a long time to grow. Like at least a couple hours, okay? So that's why we will be using this car battery to hyperdrive the process. Because as you know, with enough voltage, you can do anything. Oh, these are live. Okay, hold on one second. Whew. Before we do that, I just need to add some seeds. And a little bit of water. And then turn our sun on and look at that. Oh wait, I almost forgot the most important part, the battery. And you know what, before I click on the machine and cause an apple tree to spring right out of this table, right before your very eyes, I wanna go back to the whole Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead thing. Because someone sent a message to Jesus telling him that his friend Lazarus was very, very sick. Now, Jesus knew that he would perform a great miracle and raise Lazarus from the dead. So he waited a couple days before even going to see him. But by the time Jesus reached Bethany, where Lazarus was buried, Lazarus had been dead and in the tomb for four days and Lazarus is sister Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus told Martha that Lazarus would rise again. Then Jesus said something very, very important. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Then Jesus went to the tomb and said, Lazarus, come out. And right away, Lazarus rose from the dead and walked out, still dressed in grave clothes. Lazarus was alive. Now, one of the most important things to know from this Bible story is that Jesus is the one who gives us new life. When we choose to follow Jesus and accept him as our Lord and Savior, he starts us on our new and better life, a life that will ultimately lead to eternal life with God in heaven. Now, let's proceed with our experiment. Here we go. Um, okay, nothing happened, but not to worry. This is all part of the scientific process. The scientific process! Sometimes things don't go as exactly as you planned. Good thing I had a backup experiment in my back pocket. <sighs> ah! Are these baby gloves? Remember, only God can give people new life, but I can make this awesome new life explosion. And to do so, all I need to do is add a little chemical X, some of this blue stuff, swirl it around, And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the secret ingredient. <laughs> I love science. <laughs> wow. That is scary. That is scary. Wow, it's like steaming. That was awesome. Amazing, I love science. Mad science skills! Okay, everyone remember, Jesus is the one who gives us new life. He's the only one who can give us the best life we were meant to have. Now, I'm gonna go make something else explode. This is awesome. Mad science skills! 